Hey everybody, welcome back. Getting ready to cook supper. Thought I'd crack open one of these. 35K Stout Beer by Against the Grain Brewing. So, I was beer shopping here recently and I stumbled across this, which I was really surprised to see this. I've not seen Against the Grain in my area. I was able to get, find this at a Hy-Vee grocery store in uh, Papillion, Nebraska, suburb of Omaha. And I, the only time I've ever had Against the Grain is when Jay over at this guy's thought was kind enough to send it to me. Um, he sent me an IPA or maybe a pale ale called Citra Ass Down. Super good beer. And he sent me something else from Against the Grain that I think that I totally drawn a blank on. So when I saw this, yeah, as you can imagine, I was pretty surprised. And I uh, just got the single here, and I just thought, you know, it is stout season, so I should probably get a few of them in while it's nice and cold. But I was a little confused by the, the can art, and then there's a blurb on here, which I'll get to here in a minute. Because at first, I kind of thought, I don't know why, just because the can art, it's shown like a dead guy with a money bag. But it also he's holding a kid eating a lollipop. And so I thought maybe that was a reference to like D.B. Cooper or something. But I was thinking D.B. Cooper sold more money than 35000 But then when you read the blurb, it gets a little more confusing. Because it's actually from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It says, Wiggity Woo. We're putting in a swimming pool, and if there's enough left over, we're going to fly you all down here to help us dedicate it. This is not your typical Jelly of the Month Club milk stout. This stout is silky, smooth, and sweet. It's worth the 35 k but, but you can only have a little because the rest is ours. So, I was... I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, like, a Christmas beer... Or winter beer it, 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 I've watched Christmas Vacation dozens of times easily and I maybe that's how much Clark's um, bonus was supposed to be in that movie and that's what he was gonna use to put in the pool so either way like as you can see I was confused when I read that blurb is it a Christmas beer is it just a stout I, I don't know but Either way, it's probably going to be pretty good. It looks like it weighs in at 7% ABV. And there's some other stuff on here that I don't understand. There's a little box here that says... I don't know if I can get that to focus in. Maybe if I hide my face. Come on. It says, to pant. Right there. Yep, yeah, that's not going to happen. Anyway... Enough gilding the lily. I thought since it was quoting Christmas Vacation, I'd use one of my Christmas Vacation glasses, and maybe it's just because I'm anticipating how thick it's going to be, but it felt thick just pouring out of the can, like the way that it was glugging. It just felt like it was going to be a thick beer. All right, um... Yeah, like a dark khaki colored head. I cannot see through this at all. White does not make it through this. This is... This is like black. See, there's... There's nothing coming through. Sometimes there's... You know, you can see a little bit of light through it. And it'll have kind of like a dark reddish brown hue once the light comes through. There's absolutely nothing. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. Uh, I could smell the lactose. I could smell like roasted notes. A little bit of chocolate. And a whole lot of delicious. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Uh, 
Oh, that is so good. Oh, that's just what I needed after a long day at work. All right. It's a um, little bit heavier than medium body. The um, it, It's not overly complex. Very well done beer. Um, you get those roasted coffee notes. Not, not overstated. A um, little bit of the milk lactose. Again, not overstated. It's it just really well done. Um, I think I'm picking up a little bit of vanilla. Hmm. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of chocolate. None of them overstated. It's like a really nice... It reminds me of like a, a well done like ice brewed coffee where it's it's not too strong on the coffee flavor all the everything is just in good balance it's got a nice body to it and it's doing the the mouth coating thing that a lot of stouts do just a really well done beer um unfortunately i just got a single of it i think i would have liked to had a few more of them <laughs> but that's okay um Maybe I can get some more the next time I go to that particular store. Um, hmm. No booziness whatsoever. Not that you would necessarily anticipate it at seven and a half percent or seven percent. Seven percent ABV. So, yeah, you wouldn't necessarily anticipate it at seven percent. Sometimes it comes across, but um, yeah, just very smooth, great body. Really well done beer. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to stop repeating myself because I'm sure everybody has something to do. But I do appreciate you watching. And if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the Malted Gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely.